Hello everyone and welcome to Steve's How To. This is video one of two. I'm going to show you how to make up a website using WSI. WYG is the short form for what you see is what you get. So let's just double click the icon on my desktop here and open it up. Then I'm going to explain to you some options on this site. First of all, you go over to the site manager. This is the index. This is where all your web pages are going to be when you make them up. Over here is a property of the web page that you're working on. You have the background color in here. You have your link color and so forth. So if you want to change the background color, you would just go over there and change the background color. If you wanted to mix two colors together to make it pretty cool, you would do that. So that's pretty cool. And over here again on the site manager is your index page. Now, index page is the main page of your website. So, for instance, www.stevesowto.com will bring me right to my index page. From there, you link out to your other pages of your website. So, over here is the toolbox. So, I'm going to go through some of the basic stuff on the toolbox because we don't have a lot of time to go through everything. So on the standard buttons here, you have text, which is going to be what you type in here. You also have your image button over here, which you drag an image from your image folder on your desktop or wherever you keep it. You have other stuff in here, bookmark. Now from there you have your form controls. Now there is a really good option in here you can use it's called form wizard. So if you want to hit that, left click, drag it, you can create a form from a template. So let's go ahead and create a contact form, basic contact form. There's your contact form. So you can change these settings, you can move it around, you can decrease this, the whole but you can also change the color. and everything so you can go ahead and change your text size by double clicking that going up here making your text a little bit bigger you can fool around with it you can make it all kinds of different designs whatever suits you so that would be your form and there's other kinds of options in your forms as well you have your file upload here you have your security, your, your advanced button, your form area, push button, radio button, all that stuff. So underneath that is your media, which is your real player, flash player, Windows media player, QuickTime, real player. You also have YouTube in there. Underneath that is your advanced button, which is your HTML code. If you want to drag and put some HTML code, you just put it in there. And from there, you have like an inline frame you can do, master page. Then under your navigation button is your menu buttons. If you want to make up a menu, a go button, here's a neat little tool you can use. Select a link so you can just add a site one. If you want to add another one, you go site two. Then you would link it here. So you can link it to web page, external, internal, email, file, or smart link. All your links are able to do that. So that would be your smart link. So then you can also change the color of that as well, which is really nice. Okay, so where were we here? Over here. Now your drawing tools. You can make shapes, you can make you can do uh, clip art which is really nice all kinds of different things in here now when you go in there that's the color it is so you just double click it and you can change your color you can change your size of it you can do all kinds of different things with it that would be your clip art and you also have text art you can do all kinds of nice stuff in there now under the extra tab you have a blog you can put in there, news news viewer, photo gallery, 
RSS feed. You also have a ready to use JavaScripts. So if you go ahead and drag that in here, you have all kinds of neat little Java stuff you can do. Bouncing stuff, countdown, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Flying letters there. Now from here, you have, this is all your extra stuff you have in there. Now you have your PayPal or your e-commerce. So if someone buys something from you and wants to add it to a cart, they want to make a donation to you, or they want to subscribe a button to you, they can go through that stuff there. Now your login tools are your security tools. You can have a password, protect a page. You can also have a sign up, login, log out, password recovery, all that stuff. This is all your security stuff for your secure for secure securing your pages that you don't want someone to see. So if someone goes ahead and, and buys something from you or if they become a member of your website, then they can have the option or you can give them the option to see that protected page or protected pages. Underneath that is your query tools, which is your SQL databases tools. And underneath that is your extensions, which has all kinds of neat stuff in here. You have a counter, you have logos. You can also download more extensions from here, from your extension manager on your tools. This is the ones I have installed. Then there's also all kinds of other ones that are available. Once I take a look at it here, there it is. You can see all kinds of ones I can upload from what you see is what you get. Okay, so now you also have Lightbox in here. You have Guestbook. You have another photo album, which is really nice. You can go double click that, add your pictures in there, add all your pictures if you want. They will not show up here until you upload them to your server via file transfer protocol. So, so basically this is all over the map here. I just want to show you some of the tools for the beginning of the first segment of this, these videos. Now if you want to preview your website at any time what you would want to do is go to this button up here it has preview. Beside that is the actual publish button where you would FTP it to your server via to your host. So basically if you want to preview the entire website because we're going to have maybe hopefully more than pages than just the index or you can preview just the page you're working on. So let's go hit that preview button here and it shows us what it will actually look like besides the things like your photo gallery here which will not show up until the actual pictures are uploaded to your server but there is what it is so let's go back here let's clear this all out now this is when you if you want to make up a new website from scratch which you're going to do for the first time you can actually open up a website you've already been working on or you can make a new one you two options you can do you can make a new page from scratch and make up your own template or you can use an existing template from what you see is what you get the program when you buy it. Okay, so if we go to new site from template, which I recommend for beginners. So once you open up the new template, new website from template, you'll come across this. Now in here, there's lots of web pages or, or templates you could use for your website. There's all kinds of business one, there's a there's restaurant one, there's all kinds of different ones that I'm sure you could find one to tailor your needs. So basically let's just grab one here out of the blue. Let's grab this one, the Mexican restaurant one, or actually let's just grab something else here. Let's grab this one here, personal website. Now when you open up a website you have to name it something for the first time. So let's just call this example one. And there we are. Welcome to my website. So in here you can go in and make all kinds of different changes. There's already a menu here in place actually. Yes it is. There's a menu in here already. So if you want to preview this and see what it actually look, will look like in a web browser, there we are. That's what it will look like. 
So when you're in here, you can actually do all kinds of different changes for this. You can take the text out, you can change the color of the background of this thing. You can do all kinds of different stuff to it, which is really neat to do. So you just grab a template that looks like something you can use and you work with it. You can add pictures to it, you can add different menus to it, you can change the text, change the light. You can also increase the size of your website over here. So if we want to go, we're going to have to go because it's a template. There's all kinds of different little menu things you have to move around. But you get the drift. So basically, now if you want to preview it and see if it makes it bigger, and it does. So there you have it. So this is just a basic understanding of how to use a template. Now, if you, if you like this template, if you don't like this template, let's try a different template. Okay, so we're going to try another one here. Let's look at this one here, this business one here. We're going to call this one example number two. No, we're not going to change num save number one. So this is our template that we're going to work with here. So let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. Okay, kind of small, eh? So let's go in here. We can change the size of it, no problem at all. Let's make it up here a little bigger. Make sure you change your tab on the top here. So it's usually you like them around 980, which is standard for most websites or most browsers out there, or most computers. So you just move it around till you get it where you want it here. And then basically you would just preview it again and see if it's okay. So now it's bigger. You can also change the bottom of it, make it longer. Up here you can take out all this little stuff out here. Take that guy out there if you want. So if you like this website and basically you want to use the same template, what you would do is you go into here, you can either add right click your website and add a new page from template new blank page or you can go to the page that you also have your index which is your main page you would right click it and clone so we're going to clone two of them we're going to go back here to the beginning we're going to go into our tools what we did before we're going to grab a just a text editor here we're going to go page one right click it copy paste it again so we have now we have two of them and we're going to call this one page two and it's kind of small eh? so let's just highlight it there and bring it a little bit bigger let's go ahead and change the color of it make it a little bit more interesting and we're going to do the same thing for this one here I forget how, what size it was so that's fine and let's call let's just change this color here so now we got two pages that we just created this is our main page our index page so let's go over here right click this one here we're going to link it back this is our link menu here which is pretty cool you can do external internal email file smart links we're going to do internal we're going to select it to our page one and we're going to save it so now that is linked to page one so we're going to preview Actually, what we have to do is preview the whole web page, whole site, and here we are. So if we hit our page one, it takes us to our page that we made, page one. If we hit our page two, there's nothing there. So this is our home page. So we will continue with this lesson in video two, and what we're going to do is we're going to make up a website from scratch. We're going to make up a simple template add some pictures in there, add some links, and go from there. Until next time, we'll see you at segment two.